We're here to promote cnsupdates.com, which is a website for medical professionals interested in neurology. Our latest masterclasses focuses on narcolepsy and restless leg syndrome. The courses are being presented as a virtual masterclass featuring leading specialists from around the world. Fatima Shad Kanis, and um, at present I'm working as a professor of neuroscience at the University of Brunei Dar es Salaam uh, in Brunei. Um, at present we are working on Alzheimer's disease. Uh, recently we, we are very excited about our findings on uh, uh, blood profile. Uh, we, we find constantly high amount of monocytes in the, in the blood of Alzheimer disease patient, irrespective of their age and uh, sex or anything. Um, it's constantly high level of monocytes and we follow this uh, thing for one year and it's constantly present over there. Beside that we also find that um, uh, if in case if monocytes are low in the blood profile when we are looking at the uh, screening thing, um, it's the uh, lymphocyte uh, neutrophils which are always uh, high. Whereas lymphocytes are low and, and, and it's, it says that there is something to do with chronic inflammation. So this is uh, our, our study at present which we are now, which is already in uh, press with Synapse with, with a journal. Um, if you want I can show you this one. <laughs> uh, that um, uh, peripheral markers of Alzheimer's disease, surveillance of white blood cells. Uh, we are working with a group in Germany um, and uh, we are very ha happy about it. So and also beside that at, at the moment we have a, uh, quite a good amount of money for working on early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease uh, and we are looking at uh, different types of MR, MRIs, MR spectroscopy and uh, all the rest of the other types of MRs, uh, fMRI and all these things. And uh, so at, at, at the moment there is a pilot we are running um, trying to find out the early diagnosis of uh, Alzheimer, indication of Alzheimer's disease in MCI patients, um, mild cognitive insufficient patients and uh, uh, we are looking at the brain stem nuclei. Usually all the studies you are looking around is on the brain. So by the time it appears on the brain, in the brain, it's too late. It's a point of no return. Uh, so we we are we are focusing on uh, the brainstem nuclei, inferior caniculus, and all these sort of things, and and we are happy about um, that. Uh, possibly in three or four years' time, we will be ha our hypothesis is that the early diagnosis of MRI can be uh, done. Uh, early early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease can be done using MRI spectroscopy or all the other different types of MRI uh, by scanning the um, brain stem nuclei and which gives a time of 10 to 15 years uh, for the people to you know to take care of it and to get uh, uh, conscious about the situation and, and, and the remedy, remedy can be done. 